Hello and welcome to Inside Wi-Fi, video 11. It's a common misconception that Wi-Fi antennas amplify the signal. Actually, antennas are passive devices, they don't boost the signal's power. Instead, they reshape or redirect existing RF energy to focus it more effectively in specific directions. Ultimately, understanding antenna gain empowers engineers to make informed decisions for their Wi-Fi setup, ensuring they get the best possible performance for their specific network environment. In this video let's see what is antenna gain, how antenna gain impacts Wi-Fi, range and coverage, what is signal strength, what is beam width, omnidirectional versus directional antennas, gain versus signal strength, choosing the right antenna and gain, antenna positioning, choosing the right gain for your needs. What is antenna gain? Antenna gain is a measure of how well an antenna concentrates RF energy in a specific direction, compared to an ideal omnidirectional antenna that radiates energy equally in all directions. A higher gain antenna focuses the signal into a narrower beam, increasing its strength in the desired direction. This is analogous to a flashlight, where a reflector focuses the light into a narrow beam, increasing its intensity. Higher antenna gain results in a more concentrated and stronger signal which improves long-distance communication and helps minimize interference. Gain is typically measured in decibels relative to an isotropic radiator DBI. How antenna gain impacts your Wi-Fi The gain of your Wi-Fi antenna directly affects your network's range, signal strength, coverage pattern and beam width. Range and coverage Higher gain antennas concentrate the signal into a narrower beam. This means the signal can travel much farther in that specific direction, making them excellent for long-range connections or point-to-point -point links, like connecting two buildings wirelessly. However, a stronger signal in one direction usually means reduced coverage in other directions. Lower gain antennas spread the signal more broadly and evenly in all directions. They're perfect for providing wide coverage within a single room or a general indoor area, though their overall range will be shorter. What is signal strength? By focusing the RF energy, higher gain antennas can deliver a stronger signal to a distant device. This can be crucial for overcoming physical obstacles and minimizing interference. What is beam width? As antenna gain increases, the signal's beam width, the angle over which the antenna emits a significant signal, narrows. This makes precise aiming more important, especially for high gain directional antennas. Omnidirectional versus directional antennas, a tale of two patterns. The gain characteristics are often tied to the type of antenna being used. Omnidirectional antennas. An omnidirectional antenna also known as isotropic antenna emits the signal uniformly in all directions. These are the antennas you typically see on most home Wi-Fi routers, the rubber ducky type. They have lower gain, often 0 to 3 dBi. They radiate signals in a donut-shaped pattern, providing a full 360-degree horizontal coverage. They are best suited for general indoor environments where devices are spread out around the access point. Think of an antenna that radiates energy evenly in all directions, similar to how a candle emits light. In technical terms, this is called an isotropic radiator because it has no preference or focus in any direction, meaning it has no directivity. An isotropic antenna is considered to have no gain, which can be expressed as times 1. This means the energy is distributed equally in all directions, with no amplification. In decibel terms, this no-gain state is defined as 0 dBi. Directional antennas A directional antenna, also known as a beam antenna, transmits signals primarily in a specific direction. Unlike omnidirectional antennas, directional antennas offer higher gain, which results in a stronger signal and extended range within the targeted coverage area. These antennas have higher gain, example 15 dBi, or more. They focus the signal into a concentrated beam, much like a flashlight. They are ideal for extending range in a specific direction, creating point-to-point -point connections, or covering long, narrow spaces like corridors. They require careful alignment to ensure the signal is directed exactly where it's needed. Think of placing a mirror next to a candle. The mirror changes how the light is distributed, giving the candle a sense of direction. One side of the room behind the mirror becomes dark, while the opposite side appears twice as bright, thanks to both the actual candlelight and its reflection. In essence, mirrors or lenses don't create more energy, they concentrate it in specific directions by redirecting it from areas with reduced intensity. Antennas work similarly to mirrors. Just as mirrors don't generate light but simply reflect and concentrate it in certain directions, antennas don't produce radio energy, they redirect and focus it. This property is known as gain. No additional energy is created, it's simply concentrated in a specific direction. For example, if a mirror redirects half of a candle's light to one side, that side appears twice as bright, representing a gain of two times. The same principle applies to antennas, they intensify signal strength in certain directions by focusing existing energy. Gain versus signal strength. 
If the goal is to cover an entire room evenly without focusing the signal in any particular direction, an omnidirectional antenna is ideal. Antenna gain refers to redirecting energy from some areas to strengthen it in others. A higher DBI rating means greater gain, resulting in a stronger signal that reaches farther, but in a narrower beam. Essentially, as gain increases, coverage becomes more focused and less spread out, choosing the right antenna and gain. For sending a signal to a distant specific location, a high gain directional antenna is the best choice. It focuses RF energy in one direction and needs careful alignment to ensure effective communication with the target area. Antenna positioning. Proper antenna placement is crucial for stable signal transmission, particularly over long distances with directional antennas. Antennas should be firmly mounted to avoid movement, and a clear line of sight between them must be maintained. Even minor misalignments with directional antennas can significantly impact performance. Choosing the right gain for your needs, selecting the best antenna gain boils down to your specific requirements and environment. For broad indoor coverage, example a home or small office, a lower gain, omnidirectional antenna is generally the better choice. For long-distance links or connecting separate buildings, you'll need a high-gain, directional antenna. Always consider obstacles like walls and floors, which can weaken Wi-Fi signals. While higher gain can help penetrate some barriers, line of sight is always the ideal for optimal performance. Finally, ensure your chosen antenna is compatible with your Wi-Fi device's frequency bands, 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz, or 6 GHz. In the next video let's discuss about 802.11, the forgotten foundation of wireless connectivity.